Tanzania is fully committed to implement the SDGs as envisaged. In July this year, Tanzania presented its second voluntary national report, which shows that overall there has been significant progress with respect to SDG 2 to 7, as indicated by an increase in food sufficiency ratio, availability of essential medicines, decline in under five mortality, increase in pre and primary gross enrollment rates, significant milestones in pioneering gender equality, improved water supply coverage in urban and rural areas, as well as population connected to electricity. However, only moderate performance has been recorded for SDG 1, 8, and SDG, SDG 10. To ensure successful implementation of SDGs, Tanzania is determined to take actions to improve further the domestic revenue effort while capitalizing on PPPs. We are also prioritizing investments in the social service sectors, agriculture and agribusiness, value addition and infrastructure, as well as uplifting of skills for the youth. In addition, harnessing science, technology and innovation is also key to hastening implementation of the SDGs. Tanzania urges the international community to increase support to regional initiatives to bring peace to war-torn parts of the African continent. Those who participate in fueling conflicts in Africa, either for the purpose of profiting from arms trade or access to blood mineral wealth, should be tracked and condemned openly by the United Nations. For decades now, the persistent voice of the Global South calling in the wilderness makes straight the way toward peace, prosperity, progress, and sustainability for all has fallen on deaf ears. The hitherto strong historical solidarity, fraternity, and commitment to the principles of non-interference equality between nations and mutual benefit bequest to us by the UN founding fathers is withering away. As a result of this paralysis in multilateralism, we have now begun to witness shifting geopolitical tectonic plates and creation of new blocks, seeking to replace the now obviously dysfunctional world order. Trust among states has worn away, and there is erosion of the rule of law and a revert back to unilateralism. The effectiveness of the UN system and multilateral financial institutions is now being questioned more than ever before, calling for their immediate reform. All this is happening at a time when the world is reeling from the aftershocks of the COVID-19 pandemic, relentless wrath of climate change, horrendous armed conflicts, global food insecurity, looming energy and debt crisis, as well as stubborn poverty and growing inequality. Furthermore, implementation of the SDGs 2030 has been disappointing mainly as a result of unfulfilled promises of finance and technology by the Global North and limited fiscal space in most African countries. In order to rebuild trust, it is imperative that the Global North walks the talk on its promises and listens to the voices of the Global South. Analogously, the Global South must re-engineer its domestic revenue mobilization effort, including putting an end to hemorrhage of its natural resource wealth and illicit capital outflows.